Oh. <sighs> Remember, this collection is not available in any shops. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? The That's dynamics good. in this. Anyway, uh, welcome back to Acoustic Band. Hello, Lisa everyone. Me. Ben, good it's to nice. see you again. It's lovely to be back. It's great. It's great to jam on an acoustic guitar. I haven't done that for ages. I know, man. It's nice. Oh, it's good, it's well, good you to have, play with you. You got it. It's good to play I mean, with I you. I do it all the time, but it's nice to play with you again. Yeah, it's been a while. You, it's a pleasure. Uh, anyway, uh, please use the timestamps if you want to see uh, a particular guitar in this and like and subscribe and all of that different stuff and links below and hey you can go follow, follow Ben on Instagram and uh, don't follow Dude. me because I'm just rubbish <laughs> um, <laughs> so new Martin guitars guitars, guitars. Um, we saw them at NAMM did uh, you? We had, yeah we had Fred take us around to have a little uh, check on but now we've got them in hand in a quiet environment it's nice and it's really good and I'm excited for these um, I'm a big yeah. fan of the X-Series, always had one from day one. Did you? From when they had the high-pressed laminate neck, you know, the, the yeah, necks yeah, that yeah, the straight ones. down. And yeah, yeah. I used that guitar, I've used guitars on tours before, I used the DPC. Mm -hmm. uh, because they're so just rocket, you know. They're, yeah. Yeah, anyway. News. The news, these are the reimagined yeah. versions yeah. of this series. So we've got, a, there's a few, we've got four here. We've got the ones with the solid tops. Yeah. Um, there are some with high-pressure laminate tops as well, mm -hmm. which have got new designs on. These have all got solid, uh, solid spruce tops, but they've got high-pressure laminate back and sides. Yeah. And the new thing for this series is they've got different patterns yeah. for the different laminates. So if we grab two each, check it out. So I think the treble that I've got here is uh, Brazilian rosewood, the design on the back. Yeah. The, this one here is the Cocobolo. Yeah. This one is mahogany, yeah, and this one is a uh, Indian rosewood, yeah, which is really cool because I, you know, I do look at these. I remember looking at them, and they all just looks quite boring, right? Yeah, it's and you know whether it's whether it's a photo or not, it just creates a different vibe when you look at the guitar. And I think, how many percentage do you think of people that look where I, the look is so important I for mean, a guitar? What guitar, do you think? I think it's important the guitars look. Cool yeah, because you. you have to be attracted to yeah. go and pick it up, right? Yeah, that's it. And, and I know what you mean about the, the kind of the old, the older ones where they didn't have any variation and, it, you know, they looked, yeah. they looked wooden, but yeah. they didn't look they, as nice they, as these. Exactly. And I think they really <laughs> nailed it. I mean, and I, I am a Martin fan. Well, you know you're a Martin yeah, yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm a Martin um, fan too. And ha me having had these before in the past, this, there's so many improvements, I feel, that has been made on these guitars, not just the look of them. I was going to say, it's not important part. Of it. The look is not so. It's not just yeah, me. like they've made big improvements in some of the playability aspects. Yeah, the electronics have yeah. kind of had an upgrade, which is tell nice. Us, tell us, tell us, tell All us. Right, so tell us, tell us. We have got. I'm excited. <laughs> these ones have got the solid Sitka spruce top, which means that they also have necks, fingerboards, and bridges made of select hardwoods. Yeah, uh, nothing more specific than that because I think yeah. it depends on availability of hardwoods. Yeah. The ones that have got the HPL tops have also got a laminate neck and everything, but we haven't got those here. Yeah. Details on those are below, because yeah. we will have them in stock at some point. We'll, so. we'll make a video on those as well. And I think we're missing, we're missing a, a, an O and a double O yeah. version here of what we have with the uh, tops, like, you know, the, the spruce top on it. So, so here's some pictures of those. These are really popular at the moment. They've been sold out. As Taylor was saying, as we walked in the shop, you just hear somebody, oh, mm. you've got the new X series. So they are really popular guitars. Yeah. And for the price, under, I mean, they vary from 599, I think, whatever, but they're under 800 quid. I was going to say, they're all Check sub the 800 pounds. Yeah, because um, links, prices fluctuate, you know, with a bag. I was going to say, have you got a bag there? I've got a bag. They're good bags. And they're good bags. So, uh, you know, nice with a little strap to put the neck into the strap, a pocket on the front. And it's a one strap bag. So yeah. if you're lefty, you can put it on one side, and if you're righty, you put it on the other side. Um, speaking of lefties, I don't know lefty if there's any models, but please check the links below. Do please you know? check the big, I don't know off the top of my head. There must be. There, there must, must be, be, but yeah. I don't know if we've got any here. Yeah. Um, anyway. So there we go. So, um, so what, there we go. Yeah. Other improvements that they've made, well, other improvements and changes. You've, these ones have all got the, the kind of satin finish tuners. Yeah. I like that. Do you, so, I, I think I prefer the shiny ones, but you know, that's a you? taste thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's more, a bit more sort of modern. It is a bit more modern. That's bit probably why modern. I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> the neck they've done. What they've they've slightly contoured the edge of the fingerboard and the neck. The it's neck like, is wonderful now. Sorry to interrupt, but I have to right. get that out there. It's super comfy. It feels nice. It's and a little slim. It is, but then I guess it's 
It's not too thin, though, is it? You, you, you and I both prefer fat necks, don't we? Yeah, say, like. fat hard necks. Not, fat I mean, I've, I've got an OM58, uh, OM28V with the V neck on it, oh, which yeah. is like a bad, you know, and a V at the same time. I really love that, but it just lends itself to playing in a different style. That's it. Um, where these, it's, it's so, so comfortable and satin. So it, go on, It's good. Now, I was just going to say, they've, they've started to kind of roll, not rolling the edges of the fingerboard, but they have slightly contoured them. So these fret ends and the edge of the fingerboard. Yeah, there's nothing sticking out there. Super, super it's just comfy. It's super comfy, isn't it? They're um, loud. They sound good acoustically. And what have you got? Um, so an, another thing is smaller uh, and perloid inlays, right? I think they're slightly smaller than they were before. Well, and then possibly. they're perloid. And what's the what is this wood going on here? On the is that select it's hardwood? Select well? hardwood. Okay, right, yeah, right, right. So right, right. Um, it will vary. I don't know what that is. I can't tell from looking at it there. I was going to say walnut, but I don't think it is. Um, it looks a bit like a walnut, doesn't it? It could be. It could yeah. be walnut. That's yeah. a fairly common choice. It's a bit orange for walnut, yeah. but it's nice. I mean, it's you know, it's the, these ones which have got the select hardwood neck fingerboard and bridge. You know, it kind of does help mm. lift it a bit, I think. Yeah. And then we've got the um, the Martin E1 pickup system in here, which yeah. is good. With a little tuner there. I was going to say, cool, cool. inside here, you've got the little tuner. I don't know if that's, you can see that. Can you turn it on? Sweep, so. can turn it on, yeah. As well as having the tuner inside, you've got these two wheels, one for tone, one for volume. And then mm -hmm. underneath, at the back of that little yeah, control plate, it's in a there. bit fiddly. There's the button to turn the tuner on, but there's also a phase button. So you can help, you know, if you're having feedback issues, you can try hitting the phase button and that should help you know, sort that out. Little detail. You yeah. know what? This, I like this because before you would have two of these hang tags. Right. One with the specs on it. Yeah. And one to say that it's strung with Martin. You, and now yes. they do one. Combined. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's just, if you want to save the environment, you start, have to start someplace. I can imagine how many thousands of tags that yeah, they save, true. how much paper that say. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Martin. Well, that's why high pressure laminate and, and select the hardwoods is such a good way to go because it is, it is just wood that is sort of swept off off the fl floor I was gonna say, and then get yes. compressed in. That's the story that they, that they, you know, it's... But the, like, I think that it's good that they've started calling it high pressure laminate rather than plywood because plywood implies that you're getting something kind of inferior. Whereas like the, the quality of laminates for guitars, yeah. over the last, even over the last kind of three years, I think, yeah. it's really like, it's improved a lot. Yeah, so. and they, and they make this from the factory floor yeah. wood. So it's, it's still Martin wood, you know. Yeah. Um, and actually we've got the, the video out, links below for us uh, Ooh, visiting yeah. the old factory. And then if, I don't know when this is going to come out, but mm. you know, keep your eye out for the main factory and the museum as well. Oh, I really want to go play there sometime. Les Paul's first guitars in there. The guitar he learned on with really? numbers one, two, three, yeah, yeah. And the first guitar that Leo Fender put an electric pickup in is in there as well. Wow. So that's like, a, you know, we were here before, so, you know. It's, a, it's an amazing place, man. Oh, that's cool. The factory must, is, is incredible. Go there yeah. Anyway, play, we have to hear this, the Tribble 08, right? The Treble, this is the Treble 08. So this Tribble is just 08, going through. Tribble 08, yeah. Tribble 08, X2, yeah. E, uh, yeah, the thing. yeah. Let's play it so acoustically. <laughs> yeah. Um, It's such, an, it's such a good shape, and, and the, the, the width of the actual guitar is mm. less than, yeah. you know, if you're a smaller frame person, you get a triple O, double O, or a... It's a shame single. you don't have those two, but we'll, we'll get to I was going to say, one, one day, yeah. I would really like to try them, because that's, yeah. Mike, I love those, yeah. those body shapes. Great but this guitars. sounds yeah. sounds killer. Like, um, I read, you know, before I come down, I read the specs about what we're going to be looking at, and these... Yeah, these have exceeded my expectations, yeah. I have to say. I think they're really, yeah. really great sounding guitars. Absolutely. And the, um, the upgrades are, are, are wonderful. Let's try to hear this, uh, yeah, hear the, the dreadnought. dreadnought shape. So that should be like a cannon, right? Absolutely.
I mean, for the price, the this is what we always talk about mm. is that bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the dynamic range. Di and you could hear that in the intro jam. There's mm. so much dynamic range on these guitars for that yeah. price. I was going to say, there's, I'd say, yeah, there's not as much as the all solid wood ones, but no, no, no. these are 800 quid. And they've got scalloped X bracing as well. That's true, yeah, but uh, spruce uh, yeah. bracing as well, isn't it? Yeah. All, the, all, the, all the braces are made of spruce. So. It's, I mean, yeah. that's wonderful. I think it's what. Let's let's have a, let's have a play let, on that one. Plug it in and just see what it sounds should like. Should we see what the, the pickup sounds like yeah. on here? So I'm going straight into an AER Compact 60 behind me. Oh, that's an awful amplifier, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's amazing. Love it. It's, it's the benchmark, isn't it? I was going to say it's the industry yeah. standard, isn't yeah. it? So the pickup system. Pretty good, man. I mean, it, it's balanced across all the strings, all the stuff you would want. So for the price, let's say right now it's six ninety nine. These guitars, right? Yeah. Let's just let, for, just for the you know, check the links below for the price if it's changed. But you get a bag, you get a solid top guitar with solid spruce bracing, you get um, a pickup system. Yeah, and you get something that looks cool. You get the name. Yeah. It's not a bad price. That's no, a lot for the money there. It's a lot for the money, and especially if you're out... The history alone for the Martin is just incredible. And I think you know? that's where this... You're buying into... I was going to say, that's where it really comes off, isn't it? Because, like, because Martin are coming at building guitars out of these materials with the heritage they've got of building yeah. guitars, you know, for so long. And try to prove the future of guitar building, because what's, what is not, you know, we've, yeah. we've just taken down the rainforest every day, you know. Yeah. So something has to give, it's like tube amps, you know, or mm. valves amps. People are, you know, who knows if there's going to be any valves or tubes left in 25 years. Yeah. So, you know, you have to roll with the times, man. You know <laughs> yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so can you play this one for me? Yeah, yeah, Let's jump absolutely. over to that, because um, I think that guitar, it's probably going to be one that lends itself more to like the singer-songwriter type person. Yeah. So, because it's got the cutaway mm. and it's the grand performance size. Um, and, you know, it's got all the stuff in it, so... Let me just check one. I'm a little out of tune. With the little tuner inside, I'm going my little tuner. It's a good tuner, actually. Yeah. Quick. And I like it's down here, so, you, so it's right in your eye height, eyesight there, so you just like... There it is, boom. I really like the current trend for not putting controls. The barn door. Yeah, like the yeah. big the big box or even the little holes. Yeah. For the, you know, having yeah. it inside the sound hole is great because yeah. then if you want to take it out, you can. And yeah, it's just aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Yeah, exactly. And the ear. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's play this. So this is the uh, this is which the GPC the GPC X2. Yeah. Okay. E. E. Because it? it's because electro. Electric. Electric. Yeah. I think yeah. Just, just for reference, that's the, okay. that's the dreadnought shape. So that's the, that's the mahogany. Yeah, back and sides, okay. you know, mahogany, and this is the rosewood. Just, I just want to hear them all yeah. and play the same thing. It's different, isn't it? It's different. They, Guess I bought that they one. They are yeah. different. That's so, okay. just, just that one, for, just for reference. Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course, it's a small long guitar. And 
then just back to that one, just for reference. Wow. And the intonation is spot on. Yeah. <laughs> spot on, man. The intonation Ooh, is... Ooh, spot on. Yeah. That, I mean, that side of things is taken care of. I'm really surprised. Set about... up an intonation. How, how different? Yeah, because yeah. I mean, whether people say tone wood doesn't make a difference, but they all sound different. That's much more mid-range. Mid -range. Yeah. See, this was kind of low, more low top end, like yeah. you would expect from an exactly. from a, from a Indian rosewood. And that's, these two are different. This had quite a lot of very low end that I was surprised about as well, like kind of... Yeah, see, I'm not hearing that from from, yeah, from, from here. It's yeah, like, and and I think overall, I really like the treble. Yeah, it's, but it's balanced, always a winner man. guitar. You clap know, in and, and you know everybody. Plus, it's a nice guitar to hold and yeah. sit with. You know, it, it's a little bit nicer to. It's not as big on your on your body, you know. No, well, I mean, the reason I started playing because I I normally play smaller guitars. Yeah. And I used to play dreadnoughts, but I gave myself tennis elbow once, and I couldn't yeah. play <laughs> long gigs with like a big yeah. guitar because it was. Yeah. So I went to a smaller body. Yeah. But yeah, this. So this is plugged in anyway. So hang on. Yeah. So let's have a let's have volume a up all the way. Unplug there, and then okay. let's just, just for reference, have the dreadnought shape. So just if you're wondering, uh, GPC stands for Grand Performance Cutaway. Yeah. D stands for dreadnought, and then the triple O, double O, and O are the sizes of the guitars yeah. as you go up like that. Hey, sir. Sorry. It's my Use it to play as well. It's super, super <laughs> comfy, man. Like they're, yeah. As it, uh, particularly if you're looking for like a solid, reliable gigging guitar, man. Yeah, that's why I took it with me when back then because it was. There's, I had an OM28. I took on tour and it, it sat in a container at some point, you know, and it just got bowed in the neck. It was too. It's just too. It can do it if it's looked after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just ended up sitting two weeks in a container in the hot and the cold and the moisture yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. These ones, they're just great, man. Yeah. They're just great, wonderful guitars. Anyway, I mean, we raffled on a we lot We have raffled on a lot, but... Yeah, I mean, but, I mean, I think, honestly... And it's... Like, I know great improvements. Really good improvements. For the money. And Absolutely. I know that, you know, you can buy guitars that are all solid woods for the same price. Yeah. But you're not getting the Martin you're heritage. Not, they've made guitars since 1833, right? Yeah, yeah. And even before then, they were they were developing guitars. You know, I think just the history and that way of thinking and how much they have pioneered yeah. and the acoustic guitar and the acoustic sound, you know, you can't go wrong with it. I believe, well, I think I'm right in saying that the Dreadnought is the most copied guitar yeah. shape of any guitar yeah, you electric think or acoustic. Uh, yeah, 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 you think it's a strat, but it's not. But it's, it's the it, most, yeah. Yeah, so this yeah. shape is, is, it is the Martin. I mean, it's what most people think of when they think of an acoustic guitar, yeah. right? And it's, it's the shape of a Martin. Yeah, but well, it's just fantastic. I mean, the history of it and going to that, you have, to, just wait till you see the video once we, we've, uh, we've Taylor's uh, done it, because he's amazing at editing this stuff. And it's only him that can edit it, because there's so oh. much stuff to do. Um, and I waffle on so much in all the videos, so... Um, I want to go to the... Yeah, I want to go to Martin Factory. Yeah, and you can go that. and have a tour, factory tour, yeah. and you can book that as I well. I want that, you know? I want that. And the warehouse, they got this... I mean, I, you see, did we have got footage of that, the warehouse. They've got this new warehouse distribution centre. Mm. And you, they've got wood in there. And as high as... It's like, a, it's like the O2, like walking into the O2 and just got shelves as long as you can see, you know, like uh, mm. Indiana Jones when yeah, they walk yeah. down. But it's just... The, on each side, it's wood. <laughs> like they've 100 years, 200 yeah, yeah. years old wood. Mad. Nobody's got that. They've got that. You know. Anyway, anyway, links below for this. Thanks, Ben. That's all right. It's uh, been a pleasure, man. Yeah, it's man. always yeah. nice to come and play guitar. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. See you soon.